right, all right. Shalom, shalom. It's the brother Zachariah come back to you with a, uh, another Highways and Byways lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice while also trying to seal the elect and making your calling and election sure by doing the work. And to you sisters out there that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands, Shalom to you. Again, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another uh, Highways and Byways lesson. And uh, I'm going to title this one, The Truth is Not a Competition. And I'm going to say it again, The Truth is Not a Competition. Because, you know, um, sometimes we can... Uh, get caught up in, uh, you know, things that are meaning, meaningless, you know, and it's truth because uh, you got to understand every man's lot is different uh, and uh, everyone's calling is different as well, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, especially now more than ever, uh, a lot of these different doctrines are popping up, you know, brothers are teaching things that, you know, they, you know, didn't learn from their elders and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, those before them, you know, teaching different doctrines and stuff like that. You know, uh, it just proves, you know, uh, because, you know, we're supposed to be all on one accord, you know. It's, uh, you know, it's one baptism, one faith, you know, one truth, man, you know. And, and you can see the, you know. Thing, people are teaching things that are contrary, okay? So I'm getting ready to go to the book of Philippians. Uh, Philippians chapter 2. And I'm going to read uh, verses 1 through 8, okay? So uh, give me a second as I pull it up. All right, now here we go. If there be Therefore, any consolation in uh, in Christ, you know, talking about Yahweh Shai, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, and uh, or of one mind. See, being of one accord, of one mind. All right. Uh, let nothing be done through strife. Or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem um, other better than themselves. See, uh, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on things of others. Let this uh, mind be in you, see, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who being in the form of uh, Yahweh, uh, though it not be. Uh, not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. Okay, see? And was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and become obedient unto death, even the death on the cross. All right? So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we should be doing what was commended of us from on high, okay? Not of man, but from on high. And 1 Corinthians 14 and 33 tells us that Yahweh is not the author of confusion, you know? So, like I was saying earlier, my calling might not be your calling. My lot, uh, you know, may not be your lot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, if you can understand that, you will focus more on seeking out your own salvation by doing the work and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, all right? And, uh, let me go ahead and pull up uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and I'm going to read verses 13 through 14. All right, this is a, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So no matter what's going on in this earth or anything, this is the this is the conclusion. This is the end. This is this is what it all you know the whole matter. Fear God, which we know fearing uh, God is the beginning of wisdom. Okay, and keep His commandments, 
For this is the whole duty of man. So this is the whole duty of man, okay? For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You see? So this is this is what it's all about, man. Okay? Now with saying that, uh, you know, you may have brothers and sisters that make this truth about a being, you know, about a competition. You know, and uh for an example, you know, a brother can be like, I'm putting out, you know, X amount of lessons within a week. You know what I'm saying? But that might be your lot, and that might not be the other brother's lot. You know what I'm saying? Or a brother's doing the best he can with what resources he has, uh, you know, compared to what you have, you might have. You know, there's Jake's that's in this truth that don't even work a nine to five. You know, and I understand, you know, um, you know, to each his own. You know, some Jake's may not even have, uh, you know, bills. You know, like me, I have to work. I, you know, it's part of the curses. And then number two, I have bills. All right, so uh, you know we have to work these nine to fives, man, so that we can uh, pay our bills. Now we got certain um, Jakes that have a lot more time on their hand, not working a nine to five, so they can go out and they can do X amount of lessons within a day. You know what I'm saying? Or put out lessons every day and stuff like that, and that's good. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody's lot is different. Just fall into your lot and do do what's commanded of you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Yahweh may command something of you different from this brother. You know, this brother's, like I said, everyone's lot is different, you know, but a lot of brothers don't see that or they understand that, but they'll still try to put their burdens on you. And you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, that's not that's not uh, doing things uh, indecently in order. OK, you know, uh, what's another example? You know, uh, I get thousands of views, you know. And um, you also got, you know, people talk about not only the views, but subscribers, okay? What's going on? Oh, I'm over here teaching the Bible. What's going on? Coming here. Oh, coming here? Okay. All right. And, you know, and they say things about the views and things about, you know, subscribers, and all that doesn't mean anything. So, you know, it doesn't make it no better than those that aren't. You know, we can get caught up in things that are of no importance, okay? So we got to focus on, you know, what we're called to do. Because we all have a, you know, a, we all got a calling. And we got to make sure we do that, all right? So uh, for an example, I posted a note on Instagram which said, I will be glad when we are no longer have to, uh, you know, work in this place called Babylon, you know? Nobody likes to work, you know what I'm saying? Especially for these... Uh, you know, so-called uh, bosses and stuff like that. They treat us bad, talk us down, work us to death, and don't pay us enough money, you know? So, uh, you know, uh, well, a certain brother posted something in response to what uh, I had said the following day, and I was going to go ahead and tell y'all what the brother said, and, and I'm pretty sure that this was a, a shot at, at what I, I said on my uh, Instagram, you know? And uh, the following day, he said, I'd rather have my own business than working nine to five. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So I was kind of like, you know, scratching my head and thinking to myself, like, what does that have to do with, you know, anything? It's no competition, okay? You know, it's not about a business or it's not about, you know, working a nine to five. You know, the scripture says we're supposed to use the world but not abuse the world, okay? And I'm going to pull up a scripture in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, and I'm going to read verse 31. All right. Give me one second as I pull it up. And never mind the music in the background in case, you know, you can't hear me. I'll try to speak up a little bit. But it says here in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31, And they that use, the, use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. So don't worry about, you know all the riches and things like that of this world. Just take your lot, have the things that you, 
you know, are given and stuff like that because it's still a blessing, you know. At the end of the day, we still have life, you know. So it's not about what this world has to offer, you know. Uh, it's not about having a, a business. Hey, it's not even about the nine to five. It's just, you know, whatever, you know, your lot may be. But, you know, just trying to... Uh, you know, make it a competition with brothers and stuff like that. That's not right. It's not moving in the spirit, you know. All right. Because we can get up, get caught up in trying to excel in Babylon that we forget, you know, scriptures like that. You know, trying to one up your brother or your sister. You know, you shouldn't look down on your brother or sister. You should try to help them in need when they need help. Okay. And, uh, you know, you got to understand we're still under these curses. And like I said earlier, you know, the whole duty you know, of us on this earth is to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Do the work via highways and byways. And also this, which is in the book of Philippians also. I'm going to read it. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. All right. And it says, Wherefore, my beloved, uh, as ye have also obeyed, uh, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, okay? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So, you know, it's not a competition, you know, at the end of the day. You know, you're supposed to uh, seek out your salvation, you know, with fear and trembling, you know? And part of that is doing the work, warning our people, you know? We keep them updated, you know, being a watchman, showing current events, things going on around the world so people know what's going on, all right? Keep our people alert, all right? Now, I understand that everything isn't hate, nor someone being competitive in this truth, but we cannot be ignorant that this doesn't occur in this walk. At the end of the day, we all will get the same reward. So make sure you're doing uh, doing this work without strife or trying to one-up your brother. You know, like Nike always says, just do it. <laughs> yep. Hey, that's the spirit right there. Yep. Someone out here has Nike on their stuff. It says, just do it. So, all right. And that's the spirit. Alrighty. I'm going to get this final, final scriptures. And I can end it on this. All right. We're going to read the book of Matthews, chapter 20. And I'm going to start at verse 6. Read on down to 16. All right. And it says, In about the eleventh hour he went out and found others uh, standing idle and said unto them, why stand uh, here all day idle? They said unto him, because no man had hired, hired us. He said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, whatsoever is right, that, should, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they have received it, they murmured, which means complain, against the good men of the house. All right. Saying this, or saying these have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which uh, have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. This not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what uh, what I will with my own? Is thy uh, I evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. So with that, you know, you got to understand, you know. We're all equal in this thing. You know, no one's greater than the other. You know, it's no competition. And at the end of the day, we all going to get the same reward. So, you know, you just got to do what's commanded of you. You know, like I said, keeping the uh, commandments, law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. You know, uh, loving your brother. You know, make sure you're doing that. You know, that's in the book of Hebrews. Uh, you know, uh, also, you know, like going out on the highways and byways, warning our people, you know, keeping them updated. And seeking out your own salvation. All right. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Dajah.
double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you, brothers and sisters. Until the next episode, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. All right, y'all. You know, it's the brother Zechariah. Just a, uh, you know, a little extra going into the lesson. You know, I just ended uh, doing my highways and byways lesson, but uh, you know, it was some other things I wanted to mention. You know, like you know. Um, Every brother, like like I was saying uh, in the um, lesson, uh, it was some things that I was wanting to say as far as like, you know, it's not a competition, but, you know, um, you got certain brothers, you know, brothers got uh, Internet, home Internet. Some brothers don't, you know, like me, for an example, I don't have the home Internet, you know, like I don't have my own personal stuff, you know, uh, where I live at, you know, because Jake is being oppressed. You know, a lot of Jake's come into this truth and they act like you know jake got it going on even if jake's working a job you know you don't know what jake's got some jake's got child support you know um uh, some jake's got you know uh they got debt some jake's you know uh you know they make enough just to get by you know what i'm saying it's part of the curses we acting like we're not cursed you know in this thing you know and it's not a competition man you know you got jake's that uh they don't have that home internet so maybe they're you know, they do things solely on their phone. Like me, you know, I do the lessons on the phone. You know, I use one phone that is, uh, don't have any service on it. It's an old phone I had. And I just use that to record the lessons, you know? And, um, and then, you know, uh, I transfer them over to my, uh, the phone that, that has service, but you know, I, I have a certain data limit, you know, and I have to, um, make sure, you know, I can manage that through the month, you know, cause I'm not able to, like, if I go over it, Things move very slow to the point where I'm not even seeing the pictures on Instagram. Uh, it takes forever to post. Uh, you know, it doesn't operate right. You know, so I'm I'm trying to uh, make sure that I get uh, I get everything done right. You know, so a lot of these brothers, you know, make things a competition, and it's not. You know, it's not a competition. We we gotta just and don't and don't let um, someone push you or guilt you into what you're uh, doing you know what i'm saying like you know brother make you feel like you know oh you're not doing the work you know you got to do what you got to do okay you know it's not a competition in this thing you have to make sure you know you're doing um you're just doing what you're called to do you know because it's not about what man says it's about what you know yahweh bashim yahweh Shah says you know the uh the almighty you know he's gonna he you know commanded you to do certain things and I, like i said earlier i said it's like nike just do it you know it's not a competition don't let that get to you to the point to where you know you feel like oh man i gotta i gotta one up this brother or i gotta do this or i gotta do that no man because at the end of the day when we do these lessons we're seeking our own salvation but we're also feeding the sheep and that's what it's really all about it's not about going at this brother going at that brother competing uh it's not about uh it's not about having uh the the biggest car or you know the biggest house or i got all these worldly possessions you know i got the best this or the best that or I, i'm in the best clothes it's, it's just not it's not a competition man i said it in the lesson earlier you know use the world but not abuse the world you know so you know, it's just a little extra uh, on the lesson. It was some things I was meaning to get out. You know, uh, I always try to make it straight to the point. But, uh, you know, I just, it was still a little bit more on my mind and on my spirit to add on, you know, to the lesson. And just, you know, uh, and I actually had someone over there standing there listening. It was an Edomite woman, you know. She seemed like she ain't all there. But, hey, it was through the spirit because I said something like, uh, I said, uh, just like Nike, just do it. And it was crazy because I had wrote that in my notes for my lesson. And then when I come out, she's standing there and she got writing on her sweatpants that said, just do it, you know, just like the Nike. So it was through the spirit, you know, her standing there to listen to the lesson. And then, you know, you know, her showing that, you know, it was like, wow, you know, that's how, you know, like, you know, you, you feel like, you know, your how about Shimia was is dealing with you because it's like signs, things like that, that just pop up so it kind of made me feel good through the spirit you know but i got a lot of lessons that are going to be coming out tomorrow and stuff like that because you know i i usually try to focus on doing them during you know my days off because you know during the week it's just been trying and i was talking to a brother how i was going through something 
you know, on the job. So it's a blessing to be able to get out and teach. All right. So, uh, you know, it's just it's not a competition. You know, like I said, we all are in this thing to, you know, seek out our own salvation and wake up our people, you know, you know, with fear and trembling. It's not a it's not a competition. You know, you just want to make sure that you're good and you're taking care of your people, you know, at the end of the day, you know, because, you know, us, if, if you're a true man of the Lord, then, you know, that's it's, it's a lot on it. You know what I'm saying? It's a heavy thing. You got to make sure that you teaching the likewise doctrine, you know what I'm saying, of Yahweh Shai. You know, it's not a doctrine of man. It's, you know, doctrine of Yahweh Shai, everything lining up with these scriptures, you know, because it, it tells you if no man is speaking, um, According to this word, then there's no light in them. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure everything's pinpoint. And if it's something that you don't know, then don't speak on it. You know, you know, that's why I stay out of a lot of different matters. I see, you know, brothers going back and forth on certain subjects and I just stay out of that. You know what I'm saying? I just stick with the scriptures. I stick with what I know and, and, and teach that, you know, um, the main thing is repentance. You know, we teach repentance unto the Israel and then also just like, you know, you see current events going on and you can line them up with the scriptures. You pro prophesy the downfall of this place, which is Babylon the Great, you know, um, making sure everything, you know, lines up with the holy scriptures, you know, um, and that's it, man. You know, but it's, it's not a competition. Uh, you know, just do this work, man. Uh, you know, trying to make your calling and election assured. You know, because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. You know, you can't, when you're standing up there being judged by Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, uh, ain't no one going to be standing there beside you. You know, ain't going to be no elder. It's not going to be a, your, your brother in his truth or your sister in his truth. It's just going to be just you. You know, he's going to be judging you according to your works. You know, so you want to make sure that what you're doing, you're doing it in truth and sincerity. And, you know, not through strife and, and, and it's not a competition in this thing, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, be sincere. Make sure you're doing it because you want to wake our people up, you know, because a lot of people say we're here for the elect. But, you know, their actions say otherwise, you know, it's almost like you're doing it because you're worried about what the next brother going to say. You work, maybe you're worried about if a brother going to do a lesson on you or stuff like that. You know, I had one done. I had lessons done on me, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, I let my works, uh, you know, show, show, uh, you know, who I am, you know, by going out there, just doing the work, man. I don't care what another brother got to say or think about me, you know, in this truth, because at the end of the day, you know, I'm only care about what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Sha thinks. You know, because that's that's the one I always say last time I check, you know, Yahweh Bash, or I say last time I check, you know, we're all down here waiting on the chariots. You know, none of us can have the ability to just, you know, ascend up into the heavens and get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're all down here for a reason. You know, uh, of course, you know, we probably went off in our past lives, maybe even in, in this life. But it's a blessing that we woke up into this truth and being able to. Uh, you know, come back into this, you know, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai allowing us to come back into this, you know, it's a blessing, man, because, you know, we could be out here bugged out, you know, like I said, I had someone watching my, le you know, standing there watching as I was doing the lesson, and you clearly, after it was over, and conversating with the individual, and seeing like, man, my mind ain't all there, you know, it's crazy, we're in some heavy times, but it's a blessing to, to be here, you know, in this, all right you know it's not a competition uh you know just be grateful that you're a part of this you know and uh you know fulfill your lot whatever your lot may be man fulfill that man and do it to the best of your ability seek out your own salvation you know with fear and trembling you know and, and um you know like i said and, and don't put your burdens on the next brother you know you don't know what you don't know what that brother going through you don't know what that brother has, you know. I, you'll find out that there's some brothers in this truth that are homeless, you know, that have nowhere to go, you know what I'm saying? But they woke up to the truth, you know. So brothers are just doing what they can, man. And, and if anything, you could pray for a brother. Some brothers are so quick to rebuke a brother and not even looking at the whole matter, you know. Be ready to cut a brother off and talk about the brother and say the brother's not a man of the Lord, but 
you, you didn't check the whole matter in that situation. It makes me think about men back then in those days. You know, brothers were quick to try to put someone to death and stuff. They was ready to stone that woman saying she was a harlot. And Yahweh uh, Shai told them he without sin may cast the first stone. And, and the men, they couldn't do it. You know, they couldn't. Because at the end of the day, you know, they all had sin. You know, they all thought about it. They had to walk off, you know. So, uh, you know, like I said, I didn't want to be long. I just had a little bit more on my heart, man. I wanted to come out and say before, uh, you know, calling it one. You know, I got some more lessons coming out tomorrow, Lord willing. You know, Lord willing, um, this lesson uh, is edifying and inspiring to some brothers, you know, to just keep pushing. And don't make it a competition, you know. Like I said, we're, we're not in Babylon to excel and things like that. You know, there's brothers that come into this thing and thinking like about a business and all that it's, it's cool you know like if you got it yeah you know it's a more power to you but it, it's not about all that it's not about getting land and all this this place is going to be destroyed man you know and a lot of people are not even teaching that no more it's like a lot of these jakes you know you find out some of these camps got uh you know 501c3 you know and they making it a business you know um, they getting paid off their uh, Insta their YouTube channels and all this stuff, so it's all about views and subscribers and it's like man, you know, it's not about all that, you know. You can have a thousand, ten thousand subscribers, and a brother can only have maybe twenty or thirty, and and, and and at the end of the day, we both can be standing there getting crowns on our head, you know. It's not a competition, man. But uh, I'm not enough rambling, man. Uh, Lord willing, man, this was edifying and inspiring, man. I want to give all honor, and glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Ragakodash. Until the next episode, y'all. Shalom.